Hey Pisces, welcome to today's reading. I hope you're doing brilliantly well and all that is awesome in your world. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for um, turning up and being part of this incredible collective. This is a channel for anyone with a significant Pisces placement or if you just vibe with the Pisces energy, you're incredibly welcome. And if you're returning, as ever, thank you so, 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 so much for sharing your beautiful and just so inspiring energy with me and the collective. Okay, what's going on for us today? Let's have a look. We have got here, I, I'm going to have to put my glasses on. I regard all altars with respect. Okay, I don't think this card has ever come out in this deck in a reading. And I follow my inner guidance. Wow. Okay, I got a couple of these. I'm going to take that one just because that was just me not picking them up. That one there. And there we go. That's very clear. Okay. Pearls of wisdom from the universe. We have got here. Your sacred space is where you can find yourself again and again. Look at that with the altar, your sacred space. Okay. And we have got, I am unique and a gift to the world. I love how energies always line up. Okay. A couple of charms we have got here. A guitar, so about singing your own song, writing your own, writing your own music, writing your own words, writing your own destiny is coming through here. And we've got a rose and unfolding. Okay. All right, where am I going to go now? So not quite sure what this is all about yet. It's very inward, inward focused. Self-respect, the world's self-respect is coming through. Let your light shine. Wow, I love that. And we have got here alignment. These swords have featured um, quite a lot in the last week or two about cutting away what doesn't serve you. There's almost like this and rising up. I know these aren't swords, but there's kind of like this, this emergence of stability Kind of getting a four of wands vibe energy here. I know there's only two here, but you know, it's like the beginnings of real, real stability and celebration of who you are and what you want to do. Okay, I'm just going to see what alignment has to say. Oh, cut myself off there. I'm just going to see what alignment has to say in the guidebook. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, this is so, it's so aligned with this card. I love this. It's basically saying your soul is your biggest fan. It knows the truth of you and loves you unconditionally. It is continuously streaming this information to you. To tune in, your mind, body and spirit must all agree in the now. Okay, and then it says, you know, ways to do that meditation. But just, I mean, being present, being in the now, um, literally surrendering to your soul. Doing a, doing a buying down bowing down on the ground in front of your soul like having a having a soul altar <laughs> actually is something a sacred not just a sacred space where you've got vision boards and but actually a, a something where you are reminded to literally bow down to your soul and let your soul be the power of your guidance rather than your ego because that will allow you to connect to the uniqueness not connect to the fear you connect to the love not the fear Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. There's a hanged one, hanged man energy perspective here. Although there's a rebirth card going on, there is also a, the five, which is spiritual wisdom. It is also this kind of energy of being very, very patient with yourself and getting a very clear perspective of who you are and what it is that you believe in yourself what you want what you don't believe in yourself why you don't believe it who put that thought there how you're going to free yourself from that thought and we've got canary spirit and sing your own song wow look at that with the guitar singing your own song writing your own music lovely yellow energy solar plexus energy here which is very much about the i am the sense of self Okay, so we've got a big energy about sense of self coming into alignment with your soul, with your soul purpose, being brave enough to recognize how unique you are. 
Okay, so this has been building up for quite some time for this collective. So I think there's an affirmation about how well you are along the journey of that. It's amazing how the we call it, some people call it the awakening process or it's a returning to the truth of who you are process. It's probably more actually real than the, the more that I understand it. As opposed to awakening, awakening kind of, to me, has the vibe of waking up to the reality of life. But then there's another layer, which is connecting to the truth of who you actually are and the power and the amazingness that's inside of you. And I feel like that's a kind of like another level. That's like a next level process. And I feel that that's where you're at, Pisces you're you're really really starting to tune in and understand your unique gifts and why you have them and wow we've got the full a new beginning which is a rebirth and we have got the five of ones the ambition the transformation the energy rising above the conflict of humanity's normal patterns of life You've got this rebirth and it's bringing you a real new understanding, a real sense of being able to achieve what you want to achieve. Okay. And we've got the daughter of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. And we have got the father of swords. I do feel for many of you, you're becoming thought leaders here and if you if, and if that doesn't really vibe or you feel that you're on that path but you're not very like ready to be that yet because you're not quite ready to voice what you have to say but here it does feel with this guitar that you're really prepared to write your own words like really write your own destiny into being and be able to truthfully speak that to yourself and express that to other people so the king of swords has a lot of courage they they really have mental power and they're not afraid to speak the truth and that's bringing you new opportunities, but it could also be you speaking about how, you know, the world needs to wake up to creating new opportunities, to 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 studying itself <laughs> about how we think, about how we behave. You're 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 prepared to go against the grain of behaviors that are out of alignment. Look at this. Okay, it's like your truth, the sword's energy is intellectual, it's thought, it's thought leadership, it's communication. You're prepared to speak the truth of how important it is to come into alignment with the truth of your soul. And that means everybody can come into alignment with the truth of their souls, because there are, I don't know how many people in the world now, seven or eight billion, there are seven or eight billion unique souls out there. Unique souls. And you're one of them. And you you cannot compare yourself to somebody else. And we're trained to compare ourselves to other people because we have to pass exams and we have to study a certain way and we have to behave a certain way. And we do need to have a collective set of values and ways of being with each other and also to, um, you know, to help us to, to learn some of the basic fundamentals of life. But then somehow we get told that our own unique soul isn't allowed to shine and we're not unique but we are like take that fingerprint apply it to your entire system your body your physical body every cell in your body all of your emotions all of your feelings all of your thoughts and your energy because it's your energy your soul that renders you and your soul has got a mission here on life on, on, on planet earth and it's not the same as anybody else's so if you compare yourself to anybody you're basically going against the grain of your soul so compare yourself to yourself as you were a week ago, a month ago, two months ago, and you'll realize that a lot has changed in you over that period of time. But if you can keep comparing yourself to other people, all you'll do is end up being stressed because you have no idea what they think, how they feel, who they are, what's really going on inside of them, what their capability is, what their competency is. The only thing you can do is say, I choose to do better for myself over a period of time, over the course of my life. Okay. And that is when you start to really connect to the truth of you. And this is when your light starts to shine. So there's something about really that sacred space um, somewhere. It's not just a vision board or, a, or a, uh, an altar where you are perhaps putting on energies or crystals or healing or, um, you know, tokens to 
tokens to energy on the outside of you angels any religious beliefs that you have might be on that altar but you can keep your altar space or you can create one from 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 scratch but make sure you put your soul a representative energy of your soul somewhere where you can connect to it because your soul is a slice of the intelligent energy that is outside of us it made your body from scratch <laughs> i mean how magical is that when we actually stop and think about it can you imagine that you can take some energy and it made your body from scratch by eating food <laughs> by eating something that has grown from the earth on the planet earth i mean when you stop and think about the magic of that it's extraordinary and we don't give our physicality the credit for the intelligence that it is because it is astonishingly intelligent okay we have got butterfly spirit i'm not surprised oh my goodness transformation is beautiful look at you rising look at you rising look at you transforming oh my goodness okay i can't i think i think we had double butterflies and double transformations mm, two this is the third time now over the last two weeks i think snake spirit time to heal okay what are we healing Transforming relationships, time to heal. Five, 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 five is sudden and unexpected change. Healing something. I am accepting. Well, actually, what I wanted to do is get a tarot card for here. You're accepting. Accepting is very transforming. Okay, time to heal. Let's get some cards around these. The hanged man. Oh my goodness. And it's a bat as well. That's just crazy that's crazy <laughs> look at these doubling up of cards oh my god i don't know where to put them now i'm kind of all out of all out of sequence look at that you're being you're being that spirit's gonna have to go there okay i am accepting so accepting and snake spirit need to come together i'm gonna put some energy around them okay you're healing something with somebody because you've got one, you've got patience with the hangman, and two, you've got this real perspective of yourself in a way that you've never had before. You've got a perspective not just of a transformation, but I mean, there's a real transformation. Like this isn't this isn't like a little bitty stuff. This is this is oh yeah, I'm transformed. I'm a bit better than I was last week. I'm bit no. This is just like oh my god. Excuse my language. Sorry. Oh my goodness. You are just completely. You are in a completely different space then where you were, look back to who you were two or three weeks ago, and I'll promise you, you'll be just like, I, I I can't believe how much I've changed in the last three or four weeks. I can't believe how much my perspective has changed about myself. And in doing so, you change your perspective about all other relationships and you become so much more accepting. Wow, and we've got the Ten of Cups. <laughs> and we have got the Chariot. All right, you're heading rapidly towards extreme happiness if you're not there already because accepting is accepting yourself is the ultimate happiness like who are we if we don't accept ourselves wow and look at all the bonds and the energy and the beauty that that creates it's like the web of life the the, the tapestry of life falls into place and it falls into place quickly and things shift very 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 quickly when you just allow you just accept. You accept yourself as a soul, not as an ego that has to fight and strive. Okay, where am I going now? We're going to get some angels. Time to heal. Accepting and time to heal. So what's the snake spirit time to heal doing here? Okay, I'm going to get three either side. I'm going to get some past energy and present energy. Okay, so past energy about the time to heal. We had balance, okay? Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. We've got the king of earth, compassionate, accomplished, a time of great success, financial security. Okay, all right. And the seven of cups, making choices. Okay, so past energy is that you 
needed to get your life into balance. So you have been doing a lot of work in order to create this transformation of balancing yourself, balancing who you are, balancing ways of delivering your material needs in a way that you feel is right for you. So you perhaps determined that you weren't going to accept the way that you were delivering your material needs for yourself, but you had to do a lot of work to bring yourself into balance. So I'll just give you give you a, an example so that you can compare um, or perhaps correlate what I'm saying here. In the past, I had a big corporate career, which was, you know, very successful in terms of, um, you know, what I was able to achieve. And it met my material needs very, very nicely with, with you know, spare to have. But I was very out of balance because I wasn't, I got bored. I, I didn't enjoy the environment. I felt it's too repetitive to want to just chase continual goals the whole time. You know, let's turn up, make budget and then you know, give the owners of the business that you work for all of your capability, they give you a salary in return and they think that they can have the right to tell you through a performance review once a year about whether you're good enough or not. That was just so boring to me in the end. I used to enjoy it, but I got really bored of it and it put me out of balance very, very significantly. So I determined that I wanted to make my material, meet my material needs with a different way of being that there were lots of choices and I've had to narrow down those choices. It's almost like there was too many choices. Do I, do I continue to service the corporate world, but in a way that works for me? Um, and in the end, animal communication and then energy work kind of chose me, but in the meantime, I'm still very, very out of balance. So it's taken me a long time to get back into balance with both how my material world has kind of suffered, I suppose, financially, but also, relationships going to hermit mode all of that is all about getting yourself back into balance and saying i choose to create my own wealth my own prosperity through taking choices and figuring out what those choices are but until you're really really healed and and ready for proper sudden and unexpected change here with the five five it's difficult to know what's going to happen next so there's a real transformational process that goes on with that but there's also this real patience that's required where you get this deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper perspective of yourself until one day you actually touch your soul and then you go ah that's where I find the balance and then your ego has to offer up your energy to the universe to say okay guide me guide me through my soul because my soul is part of the universe that brings you huge huge happiness and things shifting forward really fast so time to heal you're accepting your your healing present energy here we have got the seven of earth seed well planted huh? efforts or investments will be rewarded in the future a need for patience i love this oh my goodness we've got ten of cups again all right a happy marriage happy ever after emotional contentment a loving relationship with your children people you can trust wow and we have got the king of air okay the king of swords again oh my goodness this is just incredible all right, intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remaining objective, public speaking, communicating clearly. Okay, present energy. You are in a place that the universe is advising that the seeds you have been planting, allow them to grow, okay? Don't overwater them, don't overfuss them. Um, everything is growing the way that you want it to, it's time for you to spend a lot of time in joy. We had that yesterday, which was like, let go and let flow. Um, you are clear about what you want. You're being, you are, for many of you, heading towards being a thought leader or a leader in your field, or just being able to really, really communicate more clearly about what you want, your needs, helping other people to see that their life can be much more happy when you're in balance and you've healed the relationship that you have with yourself and with your soul. And here, that's incredible. We've got two ten of cups showing up here. So you're really embodying happiness from the inside out. And that, in turn, patience, will reflect on the outside of you. You will become more and more and more able to communicate clearly what you need, communicate your boundaries, and enjoy relationships that are at a higher vibration, a higher level. Many of you will be forming new relationships. I know I am so blessed with this channel and the work that I'm doing and the satsangs. I'm starting to form incredible relationships with some of you. I mean, people are literally becoming my friends from this channel because 
we're we're connecting we're connecting through the conversations that we're having in the chat message we're connecting through the satsangs and um and, and i'm really finding just absolute joy in meeting some of you meeting meeting the people who come along to the satsangs you know not everybody is going to end up in a in a close soul tribe because you know we all vibe with each other in different ways but you know, I'd in- encourage you to come along if you're interested in the satsangs. They're a tiny, like tiny cost. I mean, uh, you know, everything's meaningful to somebody, but we're trying to keep them very, very, very low cost so that you can come along and re- receive some get guidance and wisdom. But you can also see other people there. You can connect with other people. I'm encouraging people who have businesses to um, to share what they're doing, to share their email addresses, to share their websites so that people who are interested in each other can connect with each other. So it's not just all about me. It's all about the community forming and finding connections that are authentic. And that is so healing. OK, so I mean, your energy is so strong to have the two butterflies, to have the two bats, the perspective and bat energy is also very like they're very highly sensitive to energy. They can feel and sense energy. And that is a beautiful thing. Okay, so the more accepting you're becoming, the more that you're rising above the conflict of life, you know, your ambition to please other people just becomes irrelevant and you become just really in tune with the flow of working with your soul. And it that then stops being about ambition because the ambition just flows anyway. It becomes about aligning with the high vibration you that is going to be very, very, very successful if you're prepared to listen to your soul purpose and accept that unique path. And that requires overcoming fears. It requires choosing confidence because confidence is a choice. It is an internal energy. Nobody can choose that for you, but it is very, very, very elevating and very freeing when we choose that. This is extraordinary in nature. Okay. Connect with nature. Okay. Pisces spend time in like let go in flow by going out, spending time in nature, spending time just connecting to the energy that is the universe and inspiration begin now. That is so similar to this. It's so similar. Okay, start surrendering to your soul. Start really, really allowing your inspired thoughts just to flow through you, to flow around you to flow out of you just to flow just to, oh my goodness this is beautiful okay we have got here periwinkle and intertwining all is well all is as it should be periwinkle is here helping you to weave together all the lessons and experiences of the past and all the wisdom gained so that you can move forward with understanding and compassion and forgiveness Growth is assured as you find the courage to examine and explore new facets of yourself. Okay, this is a real, oh, wow, well, okay, all right, I'm just going to finish this and then talk about it. Echinacea and consciousness. Echinacea stimulates and awakens your consciousness, helping break up and release outdated personal stories, emotions, and attachments that are holding you back from positive growth and self-realization and awakening awareness of your true self when you have forgotten a lost connection. Yeah, it's returning to the truth of who you are. It's like you've gone beyond the awakening and you're going into the connecting to the truth of your soul. Like the awakening was realizing that your soul is there and it's ready to connect to you and it wants to. And now you're in that process of really, really connecting to it. Um, I'm just going to two more of these, actually. I love this message so much. I'm going to get, before I turn those over, I want to get two more of these little pearls of wisdom. There they are, those two. Okay, we have got here, I will face the day with an open heart and an open mind. And, oh, we've got three. Okay, I'm confident in the presence of others. Yeah, that was the confidence, okay? So confidence is a choice. I'm just going to take that one off the top there because I can't cope with out of being out of symmetry. Positivity is a choice that I choose to make. And we have got the trick in life is learning how to deal with it. Yeah. And two more. We have got here a, um, it's like a skull. This this particular charm for me represents the emperor because um, of the emperor energy, like that leadership, the authority, the, 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 the desire to lead your life in a way that is very, grounded and very certain 
Um, and the reason for that in one of my favourite tarot decks, which is a Lightseer tarot deck, this um, this symbol is on the wall and it always reminds me of that. And then we've got the diamond. OK, this came out. Uh, oh, I can't remember exactly, but not that long ago in a reading. Was it a couple of days ago? Um, with the pink uh, energy, it is like your heart chakra is open, but you have clear boundaries. OK, so you're not closed off to receiving relationships, but you've just got real clear boundaries. You know, you're pretty hard about what you'll accept and what you won't accept so you know you'll accept into your life people who see you like you know if you're prepared to see somebody else then that's a gift you give to people but if somebody isn't prepared to see you in return then you have boundaries about saying well um i'm i'm going to be i'm going to be happy to engage with you but you're you're only coming to my inner circle if you see me as much as i see you okay otherwise i'll give you some love and i'll and I'll help you and you'll be confident about that. But the trick in life is learning how to deal with it. So the trick in life is saying I who I let into my um, emotional body or my emotional self is um, they have to nourish me in the same way that I'm prepared to nourish them. Otherwise, I'm afraid it's a it's a it's too one sided, in which case you're welcome to be in my presence, but you're not going to be in my inner circle. OK. And here we have no, wait, postpone, pause and say no. Okay, what do we need to say no about? Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Hmm. What do we need to say no about? Well, boundaries are about saying yes and no. Positivity is a choice that you make. Okay, so lots of positive energy, but authority here, intertwining and consciousness. All right. I'm not 100% sure why the no is here. Let's explore this. Okay, can we get some energy around no? All right, we'll go like that way, an Akasha. Okay, around no, we have got here the Queen of Fire. Brilliant, talented, independent and controlling. All right, there's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate the ability, ability to make your dreams come true. Okay, I know exactly what is going on in here. And we have got victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. Okay, there is huge success coming to you, and the universe is saying, don't push it, all right? Say no to pushing, all right? Because the queen of wands energy is somebody who's just, I'm really going to get ahead, and I'm really positive, and I'm really determined, and I'm going to make this happen, and I'm going to push. The queen of wands is quite a pushing energy, all right? She's got a lot of life force flowing through her. She is... Um, uh, so the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords are the kind of lesser compassionate feminine energies than the Pentacles and the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Um, so she's got a lot of determination and and this is um, energy, so it's not gender. So we all have Queen and King Wands energy inside of us. Um, the Queen is very much about power and creativity and she's very, very determined and the King of Wands energy is like success and leadership and self-confidence. So here we've got, actually, we've got leadership, we've got kind of King energy here, we've got the self-confidence, but we've also got a little bit of pushy energy and the universe is saying, nope, you don't need to push, okay? Like if you push, you're going to come across some barriers, just let go and let flow, spend time in nature, right? Just allow the inspirations to come to you. Be very, very conscious about who you are, what your choices are. Be here, understanding about the experiences. Remember the lessons and experiences of the past where perhaps you have tried to push and things haven't happened. So move forward with understanding, compassion and forgiveness. So that would be the Queen of Cups energy as opposed to the Queen of Wands energy, for example. So the universe is saying, don't do that. It's like you are being guided. The path ahead is you are on a you are on the steps, but you don't have to rush along it, which perhaps is like a conveyor belt here. You'd be like, I want to run along the conveyor belt. It's like, well, no, because the conveyor belt is doing its job for you. OK, so just let it guide you. You're being guided to the right place allow over the next day two days week however long it feels right to feel what the process of what's happening as opposed to try to push into the process of what's happening because you're going to come up against energy that hasn't cleared yet okay i am going to check akasha in a minute the star and the queen of cups there she is oh my god i can't make this up <laughs> sorry i'm swearing a lot today oh my goodness <laughs> you can't make this up if you try Pisces, it's like this is magical touch going on in your energy at this point in time. Right, I'm just going to pause and see what Akasha wants to say. 
Okay, so Akasha exists in the fifth dimension and the Library of Souls. All soul contracts, history, gifts and lessons and more exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present and future and can tap into it well. When we have free will, there are also points on the timeline of our lives that are predestined or pre-planned. Soul contracts are agreements that were made before incarnating. It could be a company you choose to work for, a relationship you plan to have or a person you agree to mentor or help. Whatever it is, know that it's divinely guided and will not bypass you. If you're waiting for a sign to proceed, this card is it. You're likely out living out of an important part of your soul's journey and you're exactly where you need to be. This is very exciting indeed. It's time to call in the support of your helpers, both in the physical realm and the spiritual world, to trust the signs coming, to take note of your dreams, to notice any feelings or visions that you receive, for you are tapping into the wisdom of the Akasha and you're being given the go-ahead to proceed. Okay. There's a wee, um, I'm just going to hold that up so you can screenshot it if you want to. There's a wee work your light transmission um, saying that you can say to yourself, okay? You're ready to download any information. So your, your journey isn't about pushing to victory. You're at this point where victory is coming to you. Okay, you're being guided. And here with the Queen of Cups energy, it's very much about healing. There is a healing, there's a healing energy here. Um, the Queen of uh, cups is very aligned with Pisces energy she's very um she's very compassionate she's very intuitive she's very very like very much about healing um and she's also about allowing and she tunes into her soul like she tunes into her emotions which is where our soul speaks to us so for all of you doesn't matter what gender you are over the next day 24 hours period of time that this feels like it's unfolding for you um try not to push instead try to feel because your star is rising anyway it's predestined you're at the point in time where um happiness is a given spirituality good fortune hold the faith here have faith that the future is bright dreams are coming true positive changes that bring an end to challenging times the light at the end of the tunnel look here we've got the kasha the light at the end of the tunnel in fact it's so light here it's almost like the light's catching it here so stay close to your emotions and be guided by your emotions about when to take action because the victory isn't necessarily here now and you want to push towards it. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I need it. I, I have to have it, but it's like hold hold your boundaries, hold steady because there's something very, very, very divinely guided, okay? Let the, let the downloads come through to you and just spend time in nature and be, like, let go and be in flow, let go and let flow. Wow. And you're really learning, you're really learning to master. Um, I'm going to leave those there, but I'm going to leave the two queens there so we know. You're really learning to master um, your emotions, your consciousness, and how you, how you, in fact, I'm going to leave those there, how you interact with everything. that's coming so stay very 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 grounded okay it's really important stay grounded recognize when you're pushing yourself out of alignment when you're trying to overstep your own boundaries your own like your own your own determination to listen to your soul and that's your ego just kind of like doing what it that you know, normally does which is you know trying to control everything because that's what it's been taught to do but there's a real energy here of like you know make sure it doesn't go out in nature have more fun so hang out with friends hang out with your soul tribe two of swords yeah there are a lot of choices coming daughter of cups love this okay and we have got the mother of pentacles <laughs> here she is all we're missing is the queen of swords okay so this is the queen of pentacles but we had the king of swords twice okay so you're doing a lot of speaking to yourself the truth of what you want being very, very courageous to cut away things that don't serve you. In fact, we've had a lot of Mother of Swords energy quite recently. So it was a, I think it was about a week ago we had the, the Mother of Swords, like just cutting away what doesn't serve you, being really, really clear about that. So perhaps the Mother of Swords or the Queen of Swords has just been overseeing the last few days, come to think about it, because there has been a lot of letting go, a lot of cutting away things that don't serve and allowing, a lot more allowing. And the King of Swords has appeared twice today, which is really, really, you know, indicative of the truth, speaking the truth to yourself that you are in this energy of accepting. 
let me bring out in fact i love these two ten of cups coming in here oh my god the cards the, these cards are just i honestly could lay all of these cards out again because it's just unbelievable you're really coming in to let your light shine to follow your guidance and where are our king of swords here is no there's a king and queen of us you know what it's okay i'm going to spend too many times like getting these cards uncovered and now they're out of sequence okay huge amount of joy coming in because you're accepting this final little sequence of cards is basically saying all of your choices that are coming up for you including spending more time in nature are really going to come from a place of not just mentally processing what your thoughts are but feeling is your is this choice going to bring me happiness is it going to am i am i valuing myself and valuing my needs and honoring and respecting my own material world by making this choice so all of the choices that are coming up for you, actually for now and in the future, forever, if you could do this, it would be amazing for you. It will be exactly what you need in order to listen to your soul. Um, but even that's a practice. So it takes some doing that you make choices based on your intuition, but not just on your intuition and in how things feel, but also does it, is it going to bring me joy? And am I going to value myself by doing it? Okay. And that includes relationships includes hanging out with people you know am i going to enjoy am i going to enjoy a coffee with some somebody invites you for a coffee and before your your ego would have said oh i really must go for this coffee because this person could you know they could help me or they could you know they could do something for me or um they might notice me and i might get a you know i might get some i might get some support from them but actually it's going to be a one-sided coffee. It's going to be them talking about themselves, about how amazing they are, or, you know, downloading their troubles and woes on you. Whereas now you're just saying, mm, is this going to be fun? Am I going to enjoy it? And am I valuing myself by doing it? Are they going to see me as much as I'm prepared to see them? Okay. And so the choices around relationships with this pink energy are very conscious choices. And you might just say, well, look, you know, if I come and spend time with you, uh, am I going to gain any wisdom? Am I going to gain anything? Is it going to serve me? Is it going to nourish me? Is it going to be fun? All right. Is it going to be fun? Am I valuing myself by doing it? And if not, then I'd rather spend time out in nature doing something that's beautiful for me. Okay. So that is what's on the cards here. Your star is destined to rise. You're on the path. Okay. The light at the end of the tunnel, because you're in your healing energy, you're in your compassionate energy. Don't push things along faster than they can go. You're just going to get resistance. It's not going to be the right thing for you. Okay. The universe has got sudden and unexpected changes, very, very beautifully coming up and lining for you. It's going to be incredibly successful wherever you're heading to Pisces. It's going to be double happily ever after. I mean, what a beautiful conversation, but it's going to be doubling ever, uh, happily ever after because you are in this incredible energy of accepting. So I am accepting. All right. That is the that is the message for today. I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful. OK, enjoy. Take care. Bye.